Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Clean the Barking Irons with Man of War Air. And we are getting ready to head out of port here because things are not going so good here at Aaron Grad. Apparently, there's a plague going on. So, we're going to start taking on some of the. Curse the wind! So, I'm going to turn myself around here and get this direction because apparently there's a mission here that we can take part in I'm not sure what this exclamation is we need more clothing not for all the gold in Araby alright we're sailing pretty good Sailing a pretty good clip here. We've got some apparently undead in our hold that we're willing to take with us because they're not actually quite all bad. And since the last time I played these, the game has gone up two versions. Back to work! Okay, the voices in this are a bit loud. Hopefully that took care of the problem. Alright guys, it's going to take a while probably to sail where we're going, so if that occurs, I will take those portions out, so hopefully it won't take too long to get here. Alright, looks like we've come upon a ship here. Ship sighted! Okay, it's not good. We're by the wind, boys! It's just one ship, so that's not so bad. Damn them to more! We have the weather gauge, Captain! So what are we dealing with here, guys? Pirate, it's another ship that we left. I think that's one of ours. I'm not totally positive about that. She's trying to ram us, Captain! Yeah, she's trying to ram us. Not good, people, not good. Let's turn about here. Ahoy! We're by the wind, boys. All right, let's let's hit it. Guys. I didn't hit it. Seriously? What are we doing with it? Oh boy. He's down. 
Sanker. <clears throat> there she goes. And I suffered quite a bit of damage on that one. I just noticed my fame increased. Sleepers away! Bombay! Here we go, lad! What the hell? Yep. And cruise to death! Zombies. Good to have both rolls. Looks like we're up to the dock of Norden. Alright, let's check out what's going on here. Let's see. Tavern. Neviated present. Erangrad has been ravaged by the plague. We'll be able to dock there for a while. Need to recruit another crew member. We lost somebody. <coughs> Let's see. Snow touch happy when the snow's expert quartermaster. That could be handy. We need that. We didn't have a quartermaster skill. Let's see. Quests. Return to Erangrad. Stockpiles, collect coal, forgotten gold. Alright, let's take a look. Take a look. See what we have. Damn 
There we go. Tie off those ropes! Some kind of talent. Could be a chest there, selling clothes, not even worth enough to search for it. Alright, we'll find out. Do a search, search, guys. Let's see. What, let's see. Let's see. Captain, we found a long lost treasure chest. It contained 2,000 gold crowns. Awesome. This must have been the drunken fool's ill gotten stash, Captain. And finders eat keepers, <coughs> I always say. Any wrecks and forgotten chests we spy on our voyages may be worth searching there. Be long forgotten fortunes laying out there awaiting plunder. We were to grab the captain! Look, pushing off. the day. Alright, let's head on to the next part of interest. Didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. So we found treasure chests along the way. Hey guys, looks like he's sighting the ship. I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but I see it over there. There's nothing else around us. Lay off the rug! Let's go, ahead. Let's go ahead over to it and see what it's about. I think it's one of ours. Yeah, it's one of ours. Lay this deck up. Oh, we found some goods, apparently. This is some kind of a port. Let's sail in and see what's about. Okay, we're sailing kind of quick here. Let's see, Maha Uvenni. Alright, let's see what this place is like. The Wise Woman's Lodge. Keysmith Boundaries. Let's see, Imperial Pennant, Black Bounty, we got some gold for that. Black Bounty, got some gold for that. Awesome. Keys of Admissions. We had a report that there's a spy stowed aboard the high elf hawk ship, the storm rider looking to sneak into Maha. Uh, I don't know what that word is. They are hiding amongst uh, 
trade delegation so we can't act directly without consequences. Send him to the bottom of the sea. I'm going to accept that. Alright, let's see. Notice board. Yes, it's true. With shoddy stalls and busy people, barely noticeable, please. And a beggar catches your ear, turning you five. An old weather man pawing at the coat of a passerby, the disheveled mess, seemingly begging for alcohol, is evident by the glass of a bottle nearby. Through the ancient, curious scars across his face, catch more of your attention. Sir, just a few, and I'll tell you a tale. This won't regard listening. God, unhand me, you fool. You'll be sewing my clothes. I have no time for a coin to waste on the likes of you. Knocked back by the aggravated mogul in his departure, the old man reaches for a nearby bottle, sipping the dregs of what remains. As his gay races off the floor, his eyes latch on to you, sparkling new life into him. How good, sir, you have the look of a competent and sturdy captain. Mayhap, I interest you in a story of bloodshed and enchanted steel alike, unlike any other. It would seem as one as strong as you would benefit greatly from my words. All I ask is going to quench this damn damnable thirst. Man the money. Man the money. Oh, let's do it. Oh, the heck no. Return with a fresh bottle of vodka. The old man takes a large swig from the glass, giving a delightful gasp. By the gods, that'll put hair on your chest. Now, when I was young, me and the lads used to fish up the icy north. Back then, we paid no mind to the threats of chaos. We only cared about the profit that could be had. One of the mates, Olaf, always carried around with him this blade of his, swore that it was given to him by the Ice Queen herself and that it was enchanted with the very essence of frost. Needless to say, we always saw him a bit of a fool. Fortunately, one evening when we were moored but to an iceberg, a small war party of chaos fanatics crept up and attacked us. Some monstrous armored warrior tore through my friends. Their screams, their screams. The old man, visibly shaken from recounting the story, takes another swig from the bottle in an attempt to drown his fears. At some point during the conflict, a part of the iceberg came crashing down upon us, scattering each one of us. I managed to claw myself free, however, the others weren't so luck lucky. Everyone was dead. Upon looking back, however, I saw it. Olaf's hand stuck up to the snow, still grasping the blade. It was almost calling to me, yet. The fear that gripped my heart was so intense that I fled as fast as I could. To this day, I wish I'd grabbed that blade, but alas, fear, chaos, is not one easily settled. You strike me as a brave man. If you were to sail north, I'm sure you would find that iceberg and the sword with it, still searching for an owner. Hmm. Intriguing. Sail on, guys. Make sure our ship's go ahead and get some repairs. And go back. <laughs> All right, let's sail on, guys. To work. I'm intrigued about that too, and I think I'm hoping to move. I can certainly hear me. So close. And now we're going to sail into the wind. Why is the rock gone? I'm not sure how we're going to pick up this pace. Alright, with all the fog and everything, we're not going to see very clearly here, guys. You're sailing into the wind, Captain! I understand that. That's where I need to go. 
Sunny day. Let's turn it out. Sleepers away. They've run aground, Captain. It says Orc Shaman. I'm gonna go check it out. Another point of interest. Let's roll up our sails here and sail in and take a search. As we can. That's what it is. Where's the Cooper? Swab the deck! Attacking me with some things. Clear the 
battery, boys! That's not doing any good. Okay, let's try to figure out what we're doing here. She's a fickle mistress. I love her just the same. Warp Shaman did so much damage. At least I figured out how to take them out, so I wanna now know how to do it in the future. And let's go ahead and dock this thing. Say, the boyer is of course terribly sad to hear the loss of the Storm Rider, and will be taught any who say otherwise. I presume this pouch of gold will suffice to buy your silence. Said so, uh, unfair with key slip, unfair with high elves. Alright, let's get our ship repaired. That's all we need to do for this particular episode. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Man of War Corsair. Until then, I'll see you later. <laughs>